A NASA study in 2001 confirmed that a huge amount of frozen methane gas released from beneath the ocean floor had heated up the Earth by up to 13 degrees Fahrenheit and triggered the disastrous impact of global warming 55 million years ago. According to scientific studies, atmospheric methane has more than doubled in the last 200 years and continues to rise. Ten years of methane is a blip, but hundreds of years of atmospheric methane is enough to warm up the atmosphere, melt the ice in the oceans, and change the whole climate system, said Gavin Schmidt, researcher and lead author of study at NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies in New York, New York, USA. The flatulence of livestock has been proven to be a major contributor of methane released in the air, a greenhouse gas that is 72 times more potent than carbon dioxide over a 20-year span. Scientific studies have also indicated that the gas and manure from livestock also produces nitrous oxide, a greenhouse gas that is 310 times more potent than carbon dioxide. According to the United States Occupational Safety and Health Hazard Administration, or OSHA, prolonged exposure at different levels of concentration causes bone marrow depression, granulocytopenia, a blood disorder, numbness, and so on. Another gas implicated in several mass extinctions in the Earth's history is hydrogen sulfide. This colorless and highly toxic gas deadens our sense of smell and at higher concentration causes blindness and eventual death. Known as sewer gas, hydrogen sulfide is a byproduct of decomposing organic matter, especially human and animal waste. According to the Sierra Club's Clean Water and Factory Farm Reports and Fact Sheets, the raising of livestock produces 500 million tons of manure a year, the improper storage of which often results in leaks, spills, and runoffs that pollute rivers and oceans. Chemical fertilizer and nitrogen-rich manure runoffs of livestock eventually cause dead zones in oceans all over the world. The hypoxic or low oxygen conditions of these dead zones lead to the formation of hydrogen sulfide. Furthermore, low oxygen manure pits a feature of confined animal feeding operations on factory farms, are also prime environments for the production of this foul-smelling and toxic gas. According to paleontologist Peter Ward, hydrogen sulfide in the oceans and atmosphere turned the sky green and choked off oxygen for plants, animals, and marine life. He further warned that global warming caused by human activities could reproduce the same hydrogen sulfide that killed more than 90% of life during the Permian period. Mm -hmm.